guys, welcome back. We're doing another of our Sim Sculpting Sunday Sims. Today we're actually doing Ellie Bamber. Now I don't actually know too much about her as an actress, I'm just a bit younger. The reason why I selected her, I think, hold on, we're gonna do a hot pause here. Okay, hopefully, I, I just realized you probably can hear my headphones playing the music in the background, so I just realized that. Great, I've been recording all day and I just realized that. Awesome! Uh, anyways, uh, I selected her actually because Disney Plus is going to be coming out with, I think it's a TV series based on Willow. Willow is one of my all-time favorite movies, which a lot of adhere in kind of takes a little bit from the aesthetic and like the overall feeling of Willow, which is just kind of chaotic fantasy medieval nonsense, which I love. And yeah, it honestly might break me. I might get Disney Plus because of Willow. We'll see. But she's going to be playing a character called Dove, and that wouldn't have probably been an enough to make me make her as a sim, but I also really like her jaw and kind of the shape of her face. She's got kind of a very rounded kind of cameo face, but almost very baby faced at the same time, so I was just kind of interested to make her. I don't know too much. I was trying to find anything really that I could about this character, and there wasn't much online at the time of this recording, so I'm interested to see who Dove is. Like, I wasn't finding much of anything about the plot, which concerns me, because it's coming out in a few months, but it is Disney. Um, you know, we know how they are with Marvel movies, so I'm sure they're gonna be like that with everything. Just all the secrets, because clearly that makes good media is secrets. Because if it's spoiled, clearly it's just, it can't be good. Can you, can you tell that I'm being sarcastic? Because I would like to point it out just in case you can't tell, because that drives me nuts. This whole anti-spoiler culture thing drives me freaking cuckoo bananas. Because I would argue if something is good enough, it doesn't matter if it's been spoiled for you, you can still read it and or watch it and enjoy it a great deal. Like, you know the story of Pride and Prejudice, but you can watch it and still love it. Does, is it not good even though you know how it goes? You know the ending? Hell, most of the stories, even though it's new media, quote unquote, you know the formula enough to know how it's gonna go at the end and you still enjoy it. So I, don't, I just don't get, I don't get the obsession with like hiding things and not letting actors have their scripts and I don't know. I love comics a lot, and so seeing what Marvel has become really upsets me a great deal. So anyways, I'm really kind of trying to fine-tune um, Ellie's nose here. She has a very, very delicate, tiny nose, which is interesting because her face is kind of broad overall, like it's very rounded, but it's kind of broad. And her nose is just this teeny, teeny, tiny little delicate thing. And her mouth is also open a lot of the times. and. Usually I won't make their mouth open because it's a conscious choice, usually on the part of the individual, to open their mouth in photos and things like that, but I decided to lean into it this time. You know what? Let's just open her mouth. Why not? Why not? If she's going to have an open mouth on all her photos, well, her sim is going to have an open mouth too. <laughs> I didn't like the slider that I used though. I knew I had a different one that worked a little bit better and so I was trying to find it. It was this one right here that I wanted. And yeah. I think it worked out pretty well, like, I got the open mouth look that I wanted, with kind of like the downturn pout, you know, the rounded face, I think the eyes look really good, and yeah, I'm just, I'm really curious to see what they do with Willow. If, if they ruin it, I'm going to be very upset, and I will just promptly erase it from my mind, and I will never talk of it again, but I have to at least try, although Val Kilmer's not going to be in it, so no Mad Mardigan, which is... A huge part of my medieval awakening, admittedly, but I'm still. I love Willow. Love it, love it. If you haven't seen it, go watch Willow. Just do it. You will, and if you enjoy the nonsense that I put out, Willow is actually a good version of that. <laughs> it's really good. It's great. It's great. It's great. And yeah, we're pretty much done. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you like the sim, like this video. Definitely give it a like if you did. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.